welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series in the last video we saw sync options <coughs> oh. <coughs> so let's close it out i was actually reading something on this link so storage like what's the story storage is like each user <coughs> has uh, uh, for one drive for business user has one terabyte <coughs> storage by default and you can bump it up to five terabyte <coughs> like just like SharePoint that when the site is running about uh, a certain percentage they get the notification and then they can ask to get more storage for their website for this one like for personal storage is the same thing when they hit a certain number they you can bump it for them like up to five terabytes uh, right here if we can go there <coughs> it says uh, oh sorry this line you can increase the storage up to five terabyte per user but this line if you see this this is saying if you have 365 plan and you have five or more user you can cho change the storage space to more than five terabyte so what i read actually in another page and that was maybe a week ago i could not uh, save that page uh, i don't know why um, or where i read that basically that was saying is first you start with one terabyte if you get to the point where you have like 90 percent fill or 98 percent uh, then you can bump it to five terabyte and i think we can do it right now if we want to change we're gonna check in a second and <clears throat> and if you have five or more users obviously you're paying per user more Microsoft making more money uh, per month from you you can make it uh, more than five terabytes so on according to that the other article that I read it was 25 terabyte per user that's pretty great uh, gigantic storage space online so I could not find it again where I saw that so that's how you do it uh, let's see if it's somewhere here I'm no I, I know for sure that it's not that page because that page was a graph and showing so it's just like you can use the PowerShell as well okay so this one you define it how much you want that uh, user to be what if you put 512 half a terabyte you can save it so this one now each user has only half terabyte and retention retention is a uh, recycle bin for online storage so this one is retain files in one drive after user account is marked for deletion so a user has left the company and you have deleted their account and you know later you realize hey that user had some files that nobody else has and we need uh, them they are important you know nobody has a copy so you have 30 days to retrieve his one drive and go get those files pretty simple so retention and storage which is very small uh, I'm gonna wrap this video uh, let me show you actually where we can see like as a user how do you see that uh, how much space I have like this is admin section admin knows that uh, how much uh, they are allowing per user or like by default it was 1024 I changed it to I want to make sure I want to actually see if it uh, updates over there or not so a user does not know right um, let's see um, let's open Aslan and go to OneDrive OneDrive.Live.com sign in again So you see this one and it's right here not here this I does not just the detail page like what you did and give you uh, your kind of activity 
but this one if you click here this uh, uh, OneDrive settings this gear icon and more settings and you see it's feature and storage site collection features and storage metrics so metrics so this one is still showing that 1024 maybe that's again uh, with office we're seeing that it's taking uh, it takes time to be effect uh, to be effective so I'm gonna try to refresh this page like I'm gonna press control F4 basic control F5 I should have done that all right so so f5 is simple refresh control f5 basically gets a new page from the server again it's showing me the default 2024 even though i've changed it so we know for a fact that uh, for some of the setting in office 365 takes time it could be 15 30 minutes or it could be a day so again just like uh, when i did the in my previous video when i said that i will see the sync uh, uh, option in the last video so I'm making a note and I'm gonna review all of these settings in the very last video where I will show okay this we did that it took time but it is indeed in fact so I'm gonna ra wrap this video here and um, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and see you in the next one